Hey guys, welcome back to Fantastic Fertility. Um, I am filming an informal uh, video tonight. I'm just in uh, my dining room hanging out with my dog and my cat and my other dog who's walking around. There he is. Anywho, so today I've been working on um, some stuff for my FEM certification and I'm almost finished. Um, sorry, you have to see this. My dog is like biting his back leg for some reason. Not chasing his tail, just biting his back leg. Because that's normal. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to film an informal video because I <laughs> didn't have time today to produce, um, a formal fantastic fertility video. So I put on my Instagram, um... <laughs> I put out a request for a topic for tonight's informal video and the topic was um, just to tell more information about what the FEM certification involves and I'm happy to talk about that with anyone. <laughs> um, yes, so Whatever I say in tonight's video, if you have more questions, um, feel free to just... Oh my god, don't start squeaking the squeak toy. I swear to god, Kaba. You guys, like I said, informal video. <laughs> but if you have any more questions um, about the FEM certification after this video, please feel free to just message me or comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. So anyway, the FEM certification, I really love it. I totally recommend it. Um, I do have to say that FEM is a symptohormonal um, method, so that includes um, cervical mucus and LH testing. It does not include a basal body temperature um, protocol, although they do welcome um, women to chart that as well um, if they want to layer that on as an additional biomarker. Um, so I do just want to get that out of the way because that's important to know. Um, the other information that is important is, um, FEM offers a teen FEM program, which I think is great because, uh, it enables you to work with teens and that's a very specific niche. And I think it's very important because, um, it's important for teens and just young women to learn about their, um, fertility and their menstrual cycle health so that... You know, when those things um, come about, they're not confused by them or, um, <laughs> you guys, I can't deal with this. Okay. Anyway, um, they're not confused by them and they just have the information and they have that body literacy. That is what is so important. FEM is all about building body literacy through charting and really understanding what your cycle is telling you. One of the biggest things that I love about the FEM protocol is that it's first and foremost a health program. And so they really, really want to ensure that you are understanding your biomarkers in terms of your health. And then secondarily, it's a family planning program for either avoiding pregnancy or achieving it. So that's another really big thing to know. Um, again, it's primarily a health program and it really, really emphasizes um, the hormonal aspect of a cycle. So when you finish uh, your certification and you come away with that, you're gonna really have a great deep understanding of the whole um, hormonal fluctuations and interactions um, throughout a cycle, which is really great. So the, um, the course that I did, I did the, uh, the main uh, FEM certification as well as teen FEM. Um, I believe my program was 11 weeks long. So that was 11 weeks of um, weekly classes that were about like an hour and a half um, or about two hours each uh, Wednesday night, I believe, at the time. And then after that, you um, have a practicum portion where you're working with um, five practice clients to um, teach them the FEM lessons and uh, guide them through that learning experience. And then once you complete um, that practicum portion, you do a final charting assessment of their final completed charts. You submit that um, to the FEM team. And then I believe the next step is just um, to complete the final 
FEM exam. Um, the other great thing about FEM, I'm just kind of listing things off the top of my head, is um, they have an entire aspect of their um, protocol which is dedicated to medical management. So FEM actually stands for Fertility Education and Medical Management. And so as an instructor, if you're ever working with a client who um, is presenting with challenging cycles, um, it's an excellent thing because you can simply refer them to a FEM trained doctor. And that doctor is gonna be able to work with them and work with their cycles and really understand what the charts are telling them about the person's um, hormonal profile. And then they're also not just going to go on the charts, but they're also going to go by um, a, a few different um, diagnostic tools to get more information about that person's cycle and what underlying issues may be um, causing a problem. <laughs> right now, my dog is causing a problem, um, but it's all good. I'm just moving my laptop charger out of the way so that he doesn't uh, destroy that. And so, um, yeah, off the top of my head, those are some really key points about FEM. Um, I do love the program. I highly recommend it. I can't wait to just complete it and, uh, you know, start to work um, with women and teens, um, teaching them about their cycles. Please, if you have any more questions, uh, just put them in the comments below or uh, message me on Instagram <laughs> or whatever you need to do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, share this video with your friends. <laughs> you guys, this is all in one take. Please, a little bit of applause here. Um, I'm going to end this video and then review boundaries with my dog. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a great night whenever... You are watching this, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye! <laughs>